Sometimes you check a newborn and you find there's no anus. Is that possible? It certainly is. One of the major anomalies uh, of development is a disease called imperfect anus. Uh, there are a variety of different types of this anomaly, but the end result is the baby uh, cannot pass their meconium or their stool uh, in the normal way. And how is that approached? Well, you have to identify whether the uh, problem is very low down and can be addressed with a simple operation that cures the problem immediately, or is a higher problem in which the rectum has deviated and is entering uh, the, ur the urinary tract in a boy or the vagina in a girl. In those cases, uh, an operation uh, is first done in which the, the intestines are diverted with a colostomy uh, prior to definitive repair. Uh, the first goal is to get some way of getting stool that's not passing out. Will they, will they do any kind of procedure to... Well, that stomach? would be the colostomy. The colostomy could be uh, life-saving in that it uh, allows the baby to stool normally uh, into a bag, uh, and the baby can then eat. And then after the baby's recuperated from that operation, uh, maybe a month or two down the road, uh, the rectum can be brought out uh, through a normal opening on the uh, bottom. So it's, and sometimes the rectum may not function properly and some of permanently? Well, the babies may have some problems with passage of stool, with constipation, um, but uh, in time uh, they can be... Uh, Since it's stupid. a major abnormality, good doctors will also check kidneys, heart, and other parts of the body, because sometimes when this is happening, other things happen to other organs of the body? Absolutely. Uh, those organs, as well as the spinal cord, can be uh, affected uh, in this anomaly.